Set to go, 30 laps here with the Napa Light models. Thirteen late models set to go 30 laps. They build speed through three and four. Green flag in the air. Mark Mason in that bottom groove looking to hold Pat Andrew Royer in the outside lane. Give Mark Mason the advantage. Put Andrew Royer second, but here comes Tony Dagger to the inside for a top two spot. Tony Dagger in that Blaine Miller Road Service number one X looking to have a good drive here this evening. He set quick time last week. He's got that bottom groove to the inside of the 24 Royer. Dagger's gonna try to take the spot. He's got half a straight, half the advantage. Now he's got the spot. Now Hoffman's gonna come to the inside of Royer. Derek Hoffman trying to work his way into the top three. Hoffman was your quick qualifier this evening and setting a new track record. Mark Mason out in front of Tony Dagger. Derek Hoffman third. Andrew Royer fourth. Steve Minnick Jr., the dominator so far this season. He sits fifth. Danny Trent City in six. Top six cars running in lockstep single file formation throughout the entire field. Mason, Dagger, and Hoffman still the top three. Now Hoffman's going to track him, make a bend to that high lane. But now Dagger, he'll look to the inside of Mark Mason. 68 car, Daniel Falk takes that car pit side. As well as the nine car, Nate Goodman taking that car to the pit area as well. Hoffman to the high side now for Tony Dagger for the runner up spot. Derek Hoffman in the high lane, trying to make a power move on the outside of Tony Dagger. These two cars, definitely strong. Can Mark Mason hold them off as you saw the 24 car take a couple of wheels off down the back stretch, but he holds the spot ahead of Steve Minnick Jr. Hoffman's got the advantage on Dagger. Dagger gets squirrely down the front stretch. He and Hoffman get together. Tony Dagger gonna kick that car into the infield and stop caution flag, gonna come out. Fields formed up, green flag this time by. Green flag in the air, Mark Mason still your leader. Derek Hoffman all over the back bumper of that five machine of Mark Mason. Mark Mason out in front, Derek Hoffman second, Andrew Royer third, fourth, Steve Minnick Jr., fifth, Danny Trent. Single file formation throughout the field. Mark Mason, Derek Hoffman, Andrew Royer, Steve Minnick Jr., Danny Trent, Joe Ellert, Chad Richardson. Year running order. Here comes Hoffman to the outside of Mark Mason for the race lead. Mason slams the door down the back stretch. Hoffman has to check up. Hoffman has to drop back just for a second. Now he's gonna try to make a run at the bottom groove. Hoffman to the inside of Mason, Mike Mason. Mason gets crossed up, he takes it a little bit high. Hoffman down to the bottom. Minnick starting to come through the field as well as he gets around the outside of Royer. Put Derek Hoffman out into the race lead. Now ahead of Mark Mason. Hoffman, now your race leader. Mason second, Minnick third, Royer fourth, Danny Trent fifth. Seeing some pretty good exhaust flame coming from the side of that 14 machine. Danny Trent, just a little bit of fuel burning off. Three car length advantage. Now for your race leader, Derek Hoffman. Mark Mason second. Steve Minnick Jr. third. Danny Trent back in fifth, trying to go around fourth place. Andrew Royer. They're single file right now, but they're feeling racy. Here comes Minnick to the inside of Mason for second. Minnick now to the inside. Minnick trying to get that number two position away from number five, Mark Mason. Give the spot to Minnick as they come down the front stretch. Your 2009 and 2010 track champions, Derek Hoffman and Steve Minnick Jr. running one, two, as now Royer will go to the inside of Mark Mason. That's the battle for the race spot number three. Here comes Danny Trent as well to the inside. Danny Trent holding that bottom groove. He's trying to clear the five of Mason. 
Danny Trent trying to get his way into the top four. Joe Elwood still sitting idle in about the number six position. Mason still racing strong down the back straightaway. Here comes Danny Trent. Danny Trent and Mason almost touch, but they both keep going. Danny Trent, the 14, get a clear. Mason going down through corners one and two. This time by 14 laps going to be completed. 16 to go. Next time around after this, it'll be halfway. Hoffman, your leader. Minnick second, Royer third, Trent fourth, Mason fifth. Ellert sixth, Richardson seventh, Dagger eighth, Chrisman ninth. Spangler 10th, Derwin 11th as they come to halfway. Derek Hoffman, that family racing, Mancino's, High Ho again, Chevrolet Impala. Well out in front, he's got about a six car length advantage over Steve Minnick Jr. Minnick's got 14 laps to try to run down Big Orange. Derek Hoffman has been strong in that number two machine. He's trying to run away with this one right now over the 72 of Mark, 72 of Steve Minnick Jr. Mark Mason's now faded back to fifth. Derek Hoffman still about a five car length advantage over second place. Steve Minnick Jr. Andrew Royer doing a solid job holding in that number three position, holding off Danny Trent. Mark Mason still sits with a solid top five run. Oh, Royer squarely going down through corners one and two. That opens up the door for Danny Trent to move into the top three. Royer's going to get shuffled back to fourth. Royer shuffled back to fourth. Mark Mason sits in fifth still. Royer and Mason running fourth and fifth. Here comes Mason back to the inside of Royer. Maybe a handling issue going on in that number 24 machine. Danny Trent a little bit squirrely through corners number four. That lets Mason in the five close in even more. Half a straightaway, the advantage the front two have over third place, Danny Trent, and yellow flag gonna come out. Andrew Royer loops it around down in corners number one and two. Caution flag gonna come out. Danny Trent with a good restart, not fading from the top two here so far. Hoffman, your leader, nine to go, this time by over Steve Minnick Jr. Good battle from about fourth on back. Mark Mason trying to hold off Tony Dagger, Joe Ellert, Steve Christman, and Chad Richardson. Ellert a little bit squirrely off the corner. Ellert's going to hold the spot, but here comes Christman to the outside. Steve Minnick Jr. all over the back bumper of Derek Hoffman for the race lead. Hoffman takes a defensive line down low, but that lets Minnick have the line that he's been good at all season in the high side. Crossover. Here comes Minnick down to the bottom. Derek Hoffman still holding the position. Minnick again taking a look to the inside. Hoffman appears to be just that much better coming off the first pair of corners, but Minnick appears to be a little bit better going through three and four. Hoffman going to keep the spot coming down the front straightaway. Danny Trent idle in third. He's the only one that doesn't really have a battle. It's Tony Dagger. He continues to work on the inside of Mark Mason. That's the battle for fourth. Dagger again to the inside of Mason. Mason's going to get crossed up. That's going to let Dagger get the advantage. Dagger, fourth. Mason, back to fifth, matching the car number. Chrisman, sixth. Ellert, seventh. Richardson, eighth. Spangler, ninth. Derwin, tenth. Derek Hoffman still ahead of Steve Minnick, Jr. Top two cars that have been the class of the field, arguably here for the last three seasons. Hoffman ahead of Minnick. 
third, Trent, fourth, Dagger, fifth, Mason. Mason's going to have a challenge here in the final couple of circuits from Steve Christman. Minnick is again caught the back bumper of Hoffman, but Minnick drops the wheel off real quick. He loses a little bit of ground. Minnick keeps the car going. He catches right back up on the back bumper of Hoffman. Hoffman still your leader. The way these two are racing, that may open up a chance for Danny Trent to catch up to him, but we'll wait and see. This time by, two circuits to go. One mile to glory for Derek Hoffman or Steve Minnick Jr. Who's it gonna be? Two to go. Here comes Hoffman. Hoffman trying to hold the strong line. Minnick to the bottom. Minnick gets crossed up and he gets chopped. Now Minnick to the outside. Minnick trying to make that high lane work. Dirt dragging it through the corner. Big problems. Minnick's going to send it around and go down into the grass. Caution going to come out. Wow. Steve Minnick Jr. went deeper into the corner than I think anybody has all season. They'll build speed through corners three and four. Picking up the pace right about now. Green flag goes back in the air. Two laps to go with the Napa weight models. Derek Hoffman, Danny Trent, Tony Dagger, the top three. Dagger takes it to the high lane, but he's going to lose ground down the back straightaway. He lost a couple of car lengths. Danny Trent, though, still all over the back bumper of Derek Hoffman. Two right flag in the air this time by. Danny Trent is caught Hoffman as well, though. Final half mile is Richardson trying to make a move around. Ellert back in the pack for sixth. Final corners. Through corners number three and four. The City Chevrolet, Matsinos, High Ho again, Chevrolet Impala. The family racing car, Derek Hoffman picks up the win. Danny Trent second. Tony Dagger third. Great racing with the Napa 8 models. We'll meet the winner, Derek Hoffman in victory lane in just a second.